so we are going to try some big blind defense. I'm here with uh, Roger today. Uh, we are going to go ahead and check the flop 100% because, you know, there's some leads, but uh, it's a very small part of the tree. Mm -hmm. so we're just going to do big blind defense. So what's your play here? Um, race to one thirty four. Okay, and then w would you raise with the what's the what? What do you do here with ten nine? Um, I think that will yeah. I think I would raise that too. But okay. not, but yeah. what do you do with 10 7? Uh, stop two pair. I probably, yeah, raise that two. 10 deuce. I will just call. Okay. Let's see if that makes sense. So raise big. We had it spot on. Why do we use the big size here on this flop? Uh, because we want to have protection from, from over pairs. We still have the ace, of course, but a, a jack, a queen or a king could come and then we could be in trouble. Makes a lot of sense. Um, let's see 10 9. 10 9, pure raise. Look at this. Hmm. Always raising. I knew 10 8 was going to get in there. What else did we ask for? 10 deuce. Look at this, pure call. Pure call. 10, and 10 7. 7 here is slow playing as well. So I don't know what's up here. This is like not common, but still. Uh -huh. So this is how you want to construct your ratio. Uh, what do we do now? Uh, he called our race. Yeah. Um, yeah. Check. Yeah, I think I check. Yeah. Uh, what? How do you think the king hits his range? Very well. You know, it's a key card for the button here, right? Yeah. I think we check a lot. There's still a bit of betting. We mostly check. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do here? I still check. Check call if it's not yeah, if it's not betting too big. If no, it's not. A... This is a black bet spot. I'm surprised though because we don't really black bet third pair very often but it wants to pure black bet okay and now it's it's going a little bit polarized i think i have to fold here yeah i agree it's always calling never folding oh he's calling yeah i don't know why though Okay, so we have a bit of king. So ace 10 off wants to pure call here. No, it's basically calling all of the tens. Jack 10, queen 10. Hmm. Uh, but I, don't, uh, I think it's... Uh, But oh, I think it's because we block value. That's the first thing I thought when I saw this end that we block ace jack. So we kind of can call, but then, you know, on the river, uh, he's probably checking back a lot when he has an ace. Mm -hmm. So he's not turning his aces into a bluff. So mm -hmm. it kind of, it's a really tough father. I don't know. Uh, Yeah, I, I think he's, he's got like a lot of kings and queens here when he's raising. Maybe, maybe he's, he, yeah, he's, he's bluffing his eight now. Yeah. yeah, but that's yeah. the thing, right? Look at this. He always used the bigger size with the nuts to pair plus traits and everything. And we're just trying to capture the few times 
he's going to bluff like uh, jack seven here. Mm -hmm. Or because even like queen deuce, queen seven. So honestly, I don't think we should call her because population don't think is going to play like this. I, I don't think so. Also. But, but probably yes, also like a, a seven, a six, a eight, something like that in that kind of range when he opens first in under the but and the button. So yeah. on the button, he will have like missed, missed his ace. But even then, I, I don't know if he's hmm. capable of, of betting the river, especially when people uh, under bluff the river. Yeah. Uh, but if you look, even the bottom of his range got there. I didn't realize that on this river, all the bottom of his range gets like either already had it or it gets there even more. Right, that's uh, okay. Okay. How slow can it be? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, bottom and And now we got like flush, flush draw and straight draws also. So I think we need to raise here. Honestly, hmm? I think the solver is on fire because it's been two spots and both have been like really, really tough. Uh, are we supposed to raise? He bets the pot. You know, when he bets the pot, that drives yes, our, our raising frequency down. And usually, when you have bottom two, mm -hmm. you just want to check out because it protects our calling range. But here, since he bets pot, does that does that change? I don't even know. Flop, pot size. That's rough. I think so. You want to raise to how much? Yeah, then a little bit doubting between two ninety five and all in. Uh, two all in is too much, I think. But he pots it. Yeah, 3x or clicking it back? That's the question. Mm. Yeah, I, th I think 295 is is, is better. Um, but normally I would like to call, but because of the 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 combined flush and straight draws, I think we need more protection to raise here. Okay, so you say 295? Yeah, I think so. Let's try it. No, it's not a thing. It's just a pure call. Bottom uh, two. No. Okay, so I wasn't sure, but very often, like uh, bottom two, just purely protects the calling range. I just wasn't sure if, if if it was still a thing against flat size, but it is pure call. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because he's, he's going bigger now. He's betting pot. That means probably that he also wants to protect himself from the draws. So these are my notes for this spot. Oh mm -hmm. no. Okay, thanks. We have a out of position strategy and position strategy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, how do we play this one? Uh, I think it's just a call. Just a call, okay. Yeah. And how do you structure your, your flushes here? What, what would you do if you had 
Ace Queen of Hearts. Ace Queen of Hearts, I would raise because then I got, um, I don't mind to get four bet. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't mind to get four bet. What do you do with Ace Five of Hearts? I think every every Ace of Hearts draw. Uh, I would like raise it because of the overcard the ace. Okay. Um, and and maybe like like hands like uh, other combos like five six of hearts, where I got like uh, a gut shot and a flush draw. Maybe then I would like to uh, more go into calling mode. Uh, yeah, I think so I think I would raise. So you only raise basically when you have the nut flush and you check all everything else. Yeah, I think that was that's what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, that's not very, very sound, right? So that's a, a, a spot where we can work on right away. So whenever mm -hmm. you're facing this spot. Okay, your check uh -huh. raising range needs not flush rush. Okay, but your check calling range needs not flush rush as well. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah, need otherwise, yeah. so you need to protect your range with some of the best not flush rush. Okay, so if it if it comes down to not flush rush, okay, think about the line here. Uh Uh, tools, range analyzer. I want you to think about all this this line here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of them needs to check and call, and some of them needs to check and raise. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what what part of the, this range do you think can check call easily? And what part of this range benefits from like uh, raising? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. so let's go back to our flop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say you have ace queen of hearts here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do you mind seeing a turn? No, I don't mind because I you can. You don't see any turn. You don't mind, right? No. Yeah. You can make like the straight, you can make an ace, you can make so much. And if mm -hmm. like, for example, button has like a stand off suit here and he just see that, all right? Mm -hmm. And you hit the ace on the turn, okay? Well, your opponent mm -hmm. is gonna lose a big pot when you have a queen, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But if your opponent here has a stand and you have a five and you hit the ace on the turn, Who's going to lose a big pot? Yeah, I, I do. So what part of your range benefits from continuing in the hand? And what part of your range benefits from stopping it right away? If we only think about not flush. H5 benefits from stopping it right away. Then. Exactly. So these here benefits from stopping it right away. Right. And then it, all the strongest ones. You know they can easily call most of the time, right? Because if you make a, a, a if you make a pair with these, or if yeah. you make your flush or whatever, it's gonna mm -hmm. go well. Okay, so mm -hmm. we want to mostly like raise the wheels mm -hmm. and call with the nuts, mm -hmm. and we want to have a mixed strategy with the hands in between. Yeah. Okay. So if you start off by doing this. You're going to have like not flush draws in your check calling range, not flush draws in your check raising range. And you pick hands that make sense to check raise, you know, uh -huh. because they have the good properties. They, they don't mind stopping the hand right now. Whereas these, they can dance. They can see a turn. They can see a river, you know. 
So, yeah, so that's how you should construct this nitrate. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Clear. Now, yeah. now, now, if we think about the rest of the range, it's more or less the same story. Yeah. Okay. All your better ones, mm -hmm. in terms of not flush draws, all your better ones are going to want to check and call a lot because they don't mind seeing terms. Mm -hmm. And all of your worst ones, you know what? Your worst ones, they don't mind stopping the hand. Yeah. And like, uh, so you want to use the bottom of your range to raise very much. Because if you win with like eight six here, like here it's a it's an eight, so it wouldn't be good. But if you win uh -huh. with uh, like uh, some uh, some seven six, it's amazing, you know. Uh -huh. Six five of hearts here would be pretty sweet to win with six five of hearts. Yeah. You just win with six high, and you don't see a turn, don't see a river. So yeah, that's, yeah. How, that's how I think the spot is constructed. Now let's see. So I think this one, all of this said, what, where do you think we stand with this one? Yeah, this is an in-between one, I think. So it's not like the, nut, uh, the nuts. And we could spike a queen, that's good. Um, it's kind of strongish. Right with the queen, but it's not uh, it's not really good. So I bet it mixes raise and calls. But let's yeah. try call. Now uh, it's mostly raising. All right, and then mm -hmm. let's explore the spot a little bit to make sure we are right. Uh -huh. So our like uh, we don't have any of these here, but if we had them, I wouldn't be surprised if they called a lot, like Ace Nine, for example, heart. Uh -huh. Or a seven of hearts, like our best ones, are gonna lean towards calling a lot. Even a uh -huh. six, and then the wheels. Look at the wheels. Bam. The oh. wheels want to raise. Okay, so we have this part of the strategy. It, the kind of best ones here are raising. Oh, because it's top pair. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, mm -hmm. But look at like our next best, best ones after the A side is like queen high, right? And like uh -huh. queen jack of heart is calling, whereas queen seven, queen six mostly raises. I thought it was strong, but I didn't think we were defending all of them. So like queen deuce always raise, queen jack of heart never raise. And then uh -huh. look at the, the bottom end of it. Mm -hmm. Seven five of hearts, seven six of hearts, six five of hearts, all that bottom of the range wants to raise. Yeah. So that's how so we yeah. should that's how we should construct uh, our flash draws when it comes yeah. to this. It, this is a pattern, like uh, the way I broke it down on the range analyzer, that I see very often on these kind of yeah. boards. But it's gonna change a little bit when there's a straight possible on the board. Mm -hmm. So this pattern I've just showed you is good yeah. for I think like 80% of the flops. Mm -hmm. But then there's a whenever there's a straight possible, especially like middle-ish cards, it changes a little bit. So there's like mm -hmm. from what I've noticed when it comes to big blind defense, there's two two ways to construct your, your check raising range based on flush draws. But mm -hmm. uh it really depends on texture, and this one I showed you cover eighty percent of the game. Mm -hmm. Right, so we made it. What do we do? Um, I think we still still want to check. For sure, big blind defense. He bets. He's sizing up. And these spots, I always think, okay, let him hang himself. But I know. For the other way, and um, I'm taking a risk because you also also can make the bet with Ace of Hearts X in this spot, and when the Fourth of Hearts come, then I really got a difficult time. So I'm not really sure, but I think it, I would still prefer a call here. Uh, I disagree here a lot because you we have 600 in our stack, okay? 
-huh. If we just call here, we're going to have 500 left. And the pot is going to be what? 350. Uh -huh. So it's going to be impossible to play for stacks unless a miracle happens on the river. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So here, the best thing that could happen to us, okay? Because uh -huh. you see the, the port heart as a bad card for you, right? Yeah, and sometimes, and, and some, I think in some cases, yes, yeah, I think it's a bad card then, yeah. But the reality of it is it would be a terrible card for your opponent, okay? Yeah. It would be yeah. extremely bad. It would be an action killer, actually. If, a fourth uh -huh. of, if another heart comes and he doesn't have a heart, well, you're not going to be able to, to get paid a lot. Yeah, I always check behind uh, when, when I check, of course. Yeah, so you have to think about like this. But here you think a fourth fourth art would be bad, but it would uh -huh. just absolutely kill the action. You're never gonna get paid by you. It would kill the action for, from the opponent. So uh -huh. here, for me, this is a spot where we need to raise. We need to allow. We need to protect the opponent from bad rivers. Simple as that, because right now there's a great chance that if he, we raise, he's gonna pay. Whereas yeah. if a fort, fort heart comes, it's only gonna pay if he has a good heart. So like we want to protect him from bad rivers. Mm -hmm. you know? So we need to get our money here. So I think it's gonna be a raise. Here. Then 251, yeah. yeah. Of course not. You know, it made way too much sense. It's just a call. <laughs> oh. This is just a call. So I, I was right. <laughs> yeah. 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 I love it, man. You know, because <laughs> a lot of poker coaches, they just say something and you have to go buy it, right? Oh. I'm next to the solver. <laughs> you know? So if it's not okay, it's going to say it's not okay. <laughs> Yeah. Then, uh, yeah. Then you also uh, learn. But I, I agree with your uh, with your uh, with your motivation. So, but I think, yeah. Well, for one one thing I agree, and the other thing I think. Okay, when I race, I want to keep him in the pot. So that's also like a thing that's going through my mind. But the other way, you, what you said. Okay, if the fourth part come, then you're gonna kill the action. Then your opponent not, is not gonna pay you anymore. Yeah, it if seems. He's yeah, seems like it wants to raise with almost every heart flush draws that it has here, but not uh -huh. the, the not flush ones and not the one with the half top pair. So that's kind of understandable. And see, uh -huh. we see here the same pattern as we saw the wheels raising, the high ones just check calling. Uh -huh. But uh, here, if we look at every other flush draw, we raise them. So it has something to do with the seven. So it's a gut shot. It wants to protect the gut shot somehow. Oh, I think I know. Because when we have a seven, it's less likely our opponent has a straight. Uh, so we block his value. We block his value. So we need to keep him in the pot a little bit longer. Uh, so that's what I, that, uh, that, that I didn't see yet. But, I okay. never saw that either. We block his straight. So we block his value. Uh, okay, cool then. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, there's a lot of difficult, difficult spots. I think, it's a big here. I think I would call here. For sure. It's raising quite a lot. Huh? Okay, so it's raising because we don't have good aces. So it's doing the usual business, which is to raise like the best out pairs, but starts from ace 10. So ace 10, ace 9, and then, you know, it struggles. <laughs> Yeah, but we, we don't have the best aces on our in our hands because we re-raised them pre-flop them. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, check. Uh, yeah, these are really difficult. I got, I got the feeling I have to call, but on the other side, I think okay, it's going to take uh, take me to value down here. But yeah, I think we have to call. I think it's totally. Yeah. I, I don't think it matters here because we don't block the spade. So we don't block uh, some part of his value value range, basically. And uh -huh. like, uh, we're not gonna hold up pair of button versus big blind very often, even if he barrows it all, right? Uh -huh. So we just call pure, starts to mix folds though. So we might have to fold on the river, but I doubt it. No, no, check, check, and we win. Uh -huh. We went, yeah. He got a bit greedy with his nine on the turn, right? He tried to get us off at 10. That's basically yeah. the game, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, from and, his... Okay. And on the turn, he picked up equity with a god shot to the king. So that's why he barreled big. Yeah. He bets big on the flop to try to get us to fold like a. A ten or 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 like a backdoor king eye, like king queen without a, a flush, some stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What do we do here? I think it's a fold. Yeah, I agree. And I have a question for you uh, on these yeah. kind of texture. Uh, do you know what's the button strategy? The, sorry, the button strategy? The button strategy when there's an ace on board. Do you know what's the strategy? 100% uh, seabed. Yeah. And it's true for every stack depth under 100 the guns. It's, uh, possibly, uh, it's possibly true as well for deeper stack. I just don't have sims to prove it. I thought it was like uh, any ace or any king. Mm. Is I'm a bit more cautious than Faraz when it comes to this, but the way, uh -huh. like he, he, he says, it doesn't need to be perfectly exact. Uh -huh. But um, if we look at the overview here, uh, in position overview, where is it? Uh, looks a lot like this here. Uh, you could say the king plays like the ace, but for me, the king plays like a jack. Why? And like for me, like you could, you know, because people like to simplify this one. But for me, uh, it's really clear here that the ace plays differently than the king, and the king just plays like a jack. So. We might as well have the same strategy for king and jack, have one strategy for the ace, mm -hmm. but it's basically all key cards. So like you're betting like more than 70% of the time. So you're always betting unless you have pure jump. Mm -hmm. So when I, where I draw the line is like a queen because queens are kind of bad for us and nines. So yeah, you could say the king eye works like a size, but it's, that's a lot different uh, when you when I look at the, the graph here. Yeah. And there's a there's a little bit. You know, it's a simplification. I like mm -hmm. to put it another way. You know, if it's mm -hmm. the way I see it, if it's just one key card on the flat, you can range bet. Yeah, yeah. I I I, I didn't. Uh, I forget from where I heard it that the ace and the king is both hundred percent cheap. So I don't know exactly from. Yeah, right. I, I heard know, it, but I know where you heard it. It's for us. Oh, I, I, yeah, okay. Yeah, could be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, because I, I spoke to him about it a little bit. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so you will. Uh, uh, so what's your strategy then? You you raise every ace, of course, and then what what do you do with your uh, with your kings? You see that as well. Oh. And queens and nines, you'll be very careful. Yeah, 
Um, not very careful. We end up betting them a lot. Yeah, but uh, we check we check like uh, thirty more than 40 percent somewhere like this thirty or forty percent checks. So that's a lot of checks. All right. Yeah. yeah. What do we do here? Uh, I think I would like to raise you. Yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, we like want to raise small or big? Um, I think like race to 78, uh, the first one. Okay. I think that Why do you want to race small here? Because the other time we had ace 10 in this exact spot and you said race big. And now you okay, want to right. race small. What's the difference? We almost have the same kicker. Uh, I think this is a, this has more backdoors thing we have like a backdoor flush drawer we have like a backdoor straight drawer um so i think we want to keep him in the pot more than with the first example okay and when you think about this flop if you just think about your top pairs here just the 10 sorry yeah if you think about the tens are in your range okay so all the tens yeah. basically uh, let's see. I think it's going to be easy. Uh -huh. Think about all the tens in your range here. Mm -hmm. uh, where does this one stand? The stronger, stronger version of the, of so the it's top like, pair. It's like one of our best value top pairs here, right? Yeah. So I think we need to be to get greedy here. Okay. So bet bigger. I think we need to raise big because on 10 eye boards, I've noticed that we do a lot of big raising for protection uh, and for value. Yeah, we also yeah, we also could have, of course, seven, eight as a bluff. Uh, uh, Jack, Jack Queen as a draw. Uh, so we, we would raise those hands also a little yeah. bit bigger than. Yeah. Maybe it's big, but I don't know. Yeah, it I is. Think, yeah. yeah, 104. Yeah. So, like 65% of the cases you have to raise this one. Yeah. Uh, this one? Huh? Oh, yeah, okay. Fold. Yeah, don't stand. I think this is a, just a fold. Easy fold, yeah. Oh, opponent checks back. Have second pair. That's good. Uh, yeah, then I will go bet. How do you structure your strategy? Um, yeah, for this, I don't have a strategy. I just, yeah. uh, I think if, if he checks back, I think I will be very aggressive with betting. But uh, I will balance that, so I won't. I won't do it any time because otherwise it will be, be very easy exploitable. But okay, that's think, not very good. Okay, the uh, way you want to look at this, you want to uh -huh. see, you want to think about. We are the big one. Uh -huh. uh, we yeah. get here with this, and we have this here to deal with in integrity. Okay, so we mm -hmm. have hands that are pure bricks. Have hands that made some pairs, some second pairs, some top pairs. So the way I would structure it here, make a long story short, I would mm -hmm. bet small with every seven. I would bet small with every five in my range. I might even fire a small bet with deuces, but I don't think mm -hmm. it's good. I, with my worst nines, mm -hmm. I would bet small. With my best nines, I'm sizing up. With anything better than a, a best one of my best up pairs, I'm sizing it. And my size up is going to be like 60%. But for this here, I'm just block betting. Block betting my second pair. So 30. Yeah, let's see if it's right. It is right. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And now the king arrived. What's the key card for a villain here? I think the king is, is, is a good card for the, yeah. for the villain. Yeah. The, the key card for the button here are going to be the ace, the king, the jack, and the ten. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all, all cards, ten or, ten or better. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it, it wanted to block bet. Let's look at it. On this river, it wants to block bet all of the time. All right, let's yeah. see. All these are the same sizing, so the uh, small sizing. We have a lot of kings in our reign that somehow made it there. Is that, is that our board? That's uh, our reign. It looks a, a little bit like this. So every seven in our range is betting small. What about our best nines? Ah, see? So we have the bet small. I. Okay, so I guess we should just have the same strategy as we had on the turn. Because on the turn, our sevens are betting small. Our nines are betting big. Our worst mm. nines. Ah, see, I thought our worst nines would bet a bit smaller more often, but just size up for value. Mm. Uh, do we have a checking range? Because on this turn, for sure, we check most of the time, 50% of the time. But the thing is, the way we're like this here is probably everything that bets big here. Whenever we turn a backdoor flush, uh, we like to bluff a lot. And like we're going to go big here. So see, all of our backdoor flushes, when, when we hit it on the turn, mm -hmm. They want to blast it. So uh, I, I, I thought a range was going to bet small mostly, but it's, it's not betting small on this turn at all. It's just mostly using bigger sizes, even over bets. Look at this. Oh. The turn oh. comes and we blast it and over bet with every top pair. 150% puff. Yeah. The, because we can represent a lot of, a lot of combos, I think, then. That's what yeah. my uh, thought will be. Yeah. We, can, we can represent all straights and all flushes. Yeah. So on, on the turn, like you want to bet all of your fives, I think. No, it's not betting fives. It's not betting deuces. It's just betting sevens and mm -hmm. nines. It's not even betting sevens. Look at this. Huh. Most sevens check. So it's just bluffing with the backdoor flush. And, and with bluffing, your bluffing with a single haze of the of heart, if you just have a haze of heart here, you can bluff. Yeah, yeah then we block his uh, most important uh, draw, which is strongest draw. Yeah, if the if, if the heart uh, comes, yeah. yeah, and I guess we just fire again if we hit it on the river, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So ace of heart, even the king of hearts is doing it. Oh. All right. Okay, cool. Uh, you, check, you check behind with the, yeah. the flop? Yeah. yeah. I think we still can, can check. We have a little, little bit showdown on the one definitely, hand. We definitely can check. That's all we can do, actually, I think. Yeah. And here... Yeah, but... Um, yeah. Has the nine good for our range of for this? I think it's I, I, close, close to neutral. Neutral, yeah. So I think we still have to check. Uh, and maybe call a little bit, but I don't know. Maybe that's wrong. <laughs> for... For my previous lesson, don't call river bets. So maybe yeah, check. you should just fall, right? <laughs> uh, 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 no, no, I should check it down and we win. That's good. Uh, uh. But I heard sometimes I don't know what where it was that okay when somebody put aggression, I don't know exact the context, but if somebody puts aggression and then checks, most of the time they had something like marginal, yeah. so they won't get cheap to the to the river. Because they have yeah. already have something. 
Yeah. But yeah. it's not in this case then, probably. Well, my phone. You can take your calls and no worry. Yeah, I just put it out. So. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one. Uh, no, I think it's just it's just a fault. We have no back doors. I think. Uh, so I think well. it, oh, okay. What do you do with King Eight of Hearts? King Eight of Hearts. Then I would float like one, uh, once. Oh. Because of the back door, uh, back door. Uh, it goes pretty big sizing. Mm. Yeah, back door. Oh. I think I would. I think call us the the best thing to do. I think so as well. Ten uh percent. -huh. Oh, no. So we should check here. Oh, uh, yeah, check. Yeah. He goes check, check. Surprise. Uh, I don't know. It's it's Pyro approved, but I think now I want to bet the pot here. Yeah, I agree. How do you structure your range here on the river after that turn? Goes check, check. Uh, actually, what do you do with that hand here? Naked uh, what? You just have a ten here. What do you do? So no, no, uh, just uh, second pair. Second pair. Let's say like ten seven or something like that. Um, yes. Uh, Yeah, I think I have to bet then, but small. I agree 100%. I think it would be a block bet. What do you do with your best queens? I think my best queens also want to bet small. Mm, I think, I'm not sure, but I think your best queens here can size up. Okay. I think your worst queens can bet small. Mm -hmm. Um. So we yeah, want like to the, have like uh, our, all of our weak main ends. We want to block them, block bad them here. Simple as that. So a mm -hmm. 10, a bad queen, maybe our best nine. And with our best value hands, we just want to go. We just want to blast yeah. it. I think pot right. is good. Huh. It's not good. It wants to bet small. Oh. But the solver is about to stack off. So. Are we beat? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think still we have to call. For sure we're gonna call, but are we beat? That's the question. I think a lot of the, uh, it goes big sizing on the flop, so we call. And then checks the turn, like. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I think, it, I think like, 50% of the time it's it's like a missed missed hard draw or is yeah, I think like that. So and I don't think he ever attacks our pot size bet with a missed flush draw. Yeah. I think we are screwed here. I think he made the nut flush on the yeah. back door nut flush. Yeah, yeah like it like, uh, like uh, an ace. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're gonna call off, but it doesn't uh, look good here. My my uh, alarm bell says we're gonna lose. Uh, <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, 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 eight, eight. Are you serious? I got I got shot and uh yeah, flush a runner runner yeah yeah I I would never fold. It really felt like that, honestly. It really felt like when he checks back that turn, he has a draw 
that pick up that picked up equity and that doesn't want to get blown off from it. And then on the river, when we bet big and he rips, yeah. I know we just never win. Even with the good flush, I know we have to call and I know we never win. Yeah. And we still always have to call. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe okay. Maybe you could fold, but yeah, I think I would fold if like somebody has like a PFR of uh, like seven uh, percent or something, then and yeah. he's blasted. But then, yeah. then I have to uh, have to fold. I think one hundred percent of the time. But otherwise, that's a big maybe. You know, I just like uh, I don't no. know. Anyway, uh, uh, fold. I think it's a fold. I think the fold. Better. Yeah, it's a fold. I think so. Yeah. Okay. All right, so actually we went over a couple of like big blind defense uh, concept at 40 mm -hmm. big blinds. Let's try mm -hmm. 20 now. Okay. I'm gonna put up some water for coffee. Sure, sure. Yeah, that's also uh, got also like uh, a lot of difficulties uh, playing that stack. Okay, so let's get started. Mm -hmm. What do you want to uh, do? 10 big guys. Draw heavy. Um, I think raise to 134. Why big? <laughs> um, probably I want to take, I want to win the pot right now because uh, a heart is bad for me. A king, a nine. An ace, uh, a jack and a ten. 
maybe are bad for me. So that's why I want to end the pot right here. That would be my uh, yeah, explanation. Okay. But if the heart comes, it's not in, in our control, right? Yeah. Uh, no where card comes, it's, you know, we have 20 big blinds here. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, let's see. I want to see this one. Mm -hmm. I believe it's just a call. Mm -hmm. Hundred percent call. Oh, okay. believe the, the 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 five is not good enough to raise here. We don't have a heart, and our kicker is not good enough to raise. I don't think we ever get to fold though. If we make with this hand, mm -hmm. I don't think no matter what we're gonna fold. If the flush come, it's okay. So basically. You, the way you should approach this stack depth is that you don't need to raise here because if the flush comes, it's going to come and it's okay. If uh -huh. the king comes, it's going to come and it's okay. That does not mean we're going to fold. We're just going to be put in a difficult spot. That is all. Yeah. But it's not that difficult when you know how to play it. We know we're almost never folding our queen here, no matter what happens. So it doesn't matter to us. And uh, do you agree that we also maybe if we call here, that we give like uh, like let's say a seven, h eight, with a backdoor draw uh, the opportunity to pass it, so to bluff into us or yeah. would you say? Yeah. That's, okay. that's also right. That's also right. But uh, yeah. like whenever we make top pair from this stack depth, mm -hmm. it's like. We're not we're not really master of what's gonna happen anymore. We're just screwed basically. That when I see this kind of hand on this kind of stack depth, I know that either I win a big pot and I basically double up, or I'm out. Oh, yeah. One of the two. So it's like I'm a bit resilient when it comes to this. I know it's not gonna go well. You know, mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna be put in a tough spot no matter what, and I know that I'm gonna. You know, not gonna fold very much. So let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never fold a queen here. Oh. We even raise queen four, queen three, and queen deuce with a heart in our hand. Mm -hmm. I, I can you uh, put like uh, another heart on the on the board? See what yeah. happens then. Yeah. Um. So we call. Uh -huh. We get. The wonderful four of hearts. Mm -hmm. Pure check, and our opponent decides that he goes all in. Mm -hmm. We're never mixing. Been. We're mixing. But whenever we have one heart in our hand, we're never full. We don't have a heart here. But the thing is, like, our opponent is never going to jam. He has no jams. So, like the best he's gonna go for is geometric in the sim. And if he goes geometric, we never fold the queen unless, okay, so see here, seven and six are bad because it blocks bluffs from our opponent. So I guess he's betting seven and six is big. See here? Mm -hmm. So you don't wanna have one of these in your hand uh, when you are looking at calling with the pair. But overall, we're not really gonna fold. So we call and then, mm -hmm. The king comes on the river. We mm -hmm. check, he goes all in. Oh, we are actually folding. Okay, then, then we fold. Yeah, now we fold. If another heart comes, king of heart, let's make it bad. Mm -hmm. King of heart, we pure fold. If an ace comes, if an mm -hmm. ace comes, we find some hero calls with some queens. But the worst queens. Yeah. Okay. okay so we but... mostly fold. But it's like, let's get back to the flop. My, the way I see it, you know, yeah. we're, if we had a better one, we would raise. Like a queen eight, queen nine. And if our top pair remains top pair, even mm -hmm. if the flush comes in, 
uh, call. And then, you know, we get like uh, six on the river. Uh, he, we check, he goes all in. See, we're not really, if our top pair remains top pair, a queen five here wants to fold because it blocks bluffs. Blocks the straight that a lot. Yeah, but we would call if we had a heart in our hand. That's what it says here. It's calling with like, everything is in red because it's not happy with the equity, but it's calling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so check. He bets 94 as we just saw. So mm -hmm. what do we do with this? We just call? Yeah. Well, we didn't look at the queen of heart on the river. That's a tricky one. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a tricky one. I think check all. So check, and if you blast the ball. It is never checking. Oh. It is just going all in on its own. I thought it would block bet. My first mm -hmm. impression was that we have a fine block bet here. I would bet like one third. But then yeah. if we look at this, the, the, the stack size, like you cannot really bet 100 here. So I thought it would be more of a check, but it's just uh, it wants to go for it. So what do we do here? Fall? Fall. Fall, right? Yeah. What is he doing with ace five? He's a bit greedy. We block I his think, fives. Yeah. <laughs> push, uh, push us around, I think. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the queen. <laughs> Yeah, but we, we can also play like miss draw. Uh, oh no, there's no missing draws. Uh, no, okay, okay. Never mind. No. Um, I think this one. Yeah, I, I will float. I will call. I don't know. Let's try call. I thought it was a fold. That's a hundred percent fault. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty bad to call here. That's what I thought. Uh, it's not like it's you're not losing EV. That's not what I'm saying. But uh, um, I don't think our hand is good enough. Our hand is too bad to call. Is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack, I think we need like. Do you think we fold Queen Five with the Queen of Hearts? I think we do. I think we fold even king five with the king of hearts. I think we need the ace to call. That's okay, it. Yeah, so king five with the king of hearts is actually raising, never folding. Mm -hmm. Queen five is full. Ace five, never full. This pure so call. The, the ace is never is always calling, and we, we can call with the king. We can call, but actually it's not really calling, right? Hmm. No. Like there's sliver of call, but it's mostly raising it as a bluff. So we can raise as a bluff with the king of heart here, and we can call with the ace of heart. What do we do here? A top card pair? We just, we, on the flop, we called. Yeah, and yeah. we should be here. Uh, I really don't know. Uh, whenever whenever think... you really don't know, Matt Affleck once told me, whenever you don't know, you should just check. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I think that's that. I was like, oh, check or all in, but probably all in is like the <laughs> worst. worst because the eights, I think maybe, but yeah, no, no percent, yeah, check. Yeah. But for some reason, like a thought in my back hand said, okay, we've got out of eights, let's go for it. But uh, that's not, that's probably not a good no, way that's to think really, about it. No, no, no. It's not a good way to think about it. No, we don't have that many eights. He has plenty. He opens every offsuit eight. So he has as many eights as we do. Might even have more. 
no we have the most but mm. yeah he has a stronger age because we we, we raised the strong we, we raised probably ace eight king eight maybe yeah at the block That's, yeah no it's actually king five king six and seven it's not gonna be king eight but we can oh. three bet a ace eight two but stuff like that Okay, check the dude's card. Yeah, same as the before. I really don't know. Check. I really don't know. I think it's a uh, deck or bet small. Is it seven? No, it's, it's mostly betting here, and it's using mixed sizes. It's not even sure if it wants to bluff or check. Yeah. Uh, I would fold here. What do you do? Fold. Yeah. Ah, uh, 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 he bluffed us the, the end. But it's 100% fold, so it's good. Yeah, but now we are sitting back versus the the button. But I think if we would would be against uh, middle position, then we have to be raising more that kind of boards or not. But uh, now we'll... I'm sorry, I was looking at the the reason why I was crashing. Oh, and, uh, um... no problem. You said like, on these middle boards? No, it was yeah. this one. Yeah. Like uh, on that on that board, we do now we check, check call. Um, but if we were like versus uh, earlier position, that boards will, will hit our ridge better than versus the button. So then we gonna get more to race, I guess, or not. But do, don't you agree? No, uh, on the Jack 5-3. Uh, the other one, but uh, with the uh, with the pair with the paired eight, so with the eight seven deuce eight. Oh, this one, for example, yeah. Um, because now we are sitting where we are facing the the button, so the ranges are. A, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, a little bit similar because we are both uh, have wide ranges. And versus the versus middle position that has a more narrow range, we can attack that board more. Or I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. I no. think like uh, whenever the top card pairs, it kills our action. So say even in the seven high board, the seven is a key card for the big line, right? Mm -hmm. Even if it's the seven pairs, what that does, it kills our action because it ki it kills half of our combo. So like we're gonna have a seven a lot less often when a seven comes. Yeah, true. So it's very bad when the top card pairs for 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 the big blind. Whether he's against under the gun, middle position, or but it doesn't matter because when the top card pairs. Mm -hmm. uh, it just makes it that his the big blind has less of it. Yeah, less of a chance that he has it, but yeah. we have the number advantage then if the eight bears. Yeah. We don't have range, but we have another advantage. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Uh, because sure, in the offsuit area, sure. But Maybe, you know what, maybe. I think so, but. Uh. Because there's there's like not that many, not that many eights here. But like even here actually. Huh. Uh, let's see, let's see. Just to make sure. So here we wanna see on the turn. Here the turn is the eight. 
See, we check 70% of the time. Yeah. We just bet small with our eights and like sevens. Okay. Sometimes, yes. it's, okay, so it's basically it's block betting small with pairs. Mm -hmm. And it's mixing the fact that it has eights here. Mm -hmm. It's it, it allows us to bet small with sevens and deuces. But that is all. It is a good card for a big blind, as you see here. But it's overall, you're mostly checking. Okay. Huh. Yeah, okay, so the, the only thing that it does, that uh, the, the, the pairing of the eight does, is that it increases our uh, betting combos. So yep. uh, we can bet more hands now because of the eight that's, that's paired. Yeah. Okay. Ah. yeah. And then if the set, you know, because there's a pretty big difference, whether it's the top card that pairs, or the second card that pairs. And if then the seven pairs, I think it's gonna be very different. Oh, it's not. Yeah, we bet more. We bet a bit more on a seven, but it's not that different actually. Yeah, for what I, what I got like in my mind, but it's not a specific, uh, it's like a general rule is that, okay, somebody bets, I call uh, from button versus uh, big blind. Uh, and then the second pair or the third pair spikes. And then I'm going to lead, lead like yeah. 30 to 50%. I'm going to lead small yeah. uh, to, to attack here because my floats are like a lot of second and third pair. That if makes a lot of pair. sense. That's a good strategy. But you want to be a bit cautious when it's the top card that is pairing. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's really good. Oh. Um. Okay, here. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a, yeah, you bet very small. Yeah. Uh, I think it's wrong, but I, th I still got it. I still want the race here. I don't know. Not for my hand, but from the, from the board. But yeah, I think I want to race to. Uh, I don't know. Raised to 70, 78. Okay. This is a good texture to raise on. On pair boards, the big blind mostly defend by raising. Uh -huh. This is not the good combo to raise. What do you think is no. going to happen if you raise? Yeah. I don't think he, he will re raise a lot of the time. But depend, depending on the, the opponent, I think he will off, or call or fold. But the question is, why does he race on this board that is good for me? Hmm. I think it would he would just call, but... This board is not good for you. It's a fair board. And on fair boards, he's like, the equities for in position. If it was a seven, seven, seven something, it would be very uh -huh. different. Seven, seven jack or seven, seven, four. Yeah. Because of this seven is more my, my card and the eight is more his card, more a neutral card. Yeah, exactly. More neutral. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that my my knowledge says eight to four, but you before the lesson said seven to four. So I'm a little bit uh uh, 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 switching in my mind, but yeah, then 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 I would probably then I then it's the best place probably to fold here. Yeah, definitely. This is an easy fold for me. I don't even know what you find attractive in this hand. Yeah, not my hands, but the board. I thought because it's the eight, the seven, but oh, okay. yeah, it's it's not my hand. I was okay. thinking about the board. The hand is very bad, of course. But when we want a bluff, we need to follow a couple of rules. Uh -huh. We need a, a good board for it. We need a good opponent for it. Uh -huh. Right now we have both. But we also mm -hmm. need the good combo. Because if we just raise, because we, we, 
We're guessing that this is a good board. It's not good. We need mm -hmm. extra reasons. Just uh, mm -hmm. one more reason. Say we had queen ten of spades. No, yeah, backdoor, we... straight, backdoor straight, backdoor flush, two over card. That thing is the bomb. Mm -hmm. uh, if we had the um, one over card, like a uh, nine, nine, five of diamonds, mm -hmm. we can raise that. Mm -hmm. But this one here is just a fold. What do you do here with king four? I think it's a race because we we block this one side of the straight. I think five four. Uh, we we do have an over we do have an over pair of course, over card with the king of course. Uh, king four of hearts, you say, or king four? No, king four offsuit. Yeah, offsuit, but from the. Uh, spades, hearts, or just the... Uh... As you want. Okay. So when I get like uh, backdoor, um, backdoor opportunities, like the heart, spade, or the, I forgot the name in English, the other, the other uh, card, Heart's then I would... Clubs. Yeah, but then the stronger, the stronger, yeah, it's a good thing, then the stronger ones, so the, the king has to be like runner, runner, um, oh no, it's offsuit. I can't. It's not possible to make a straight to make a flush. Exactly. It's not possible. Um, yeah, I really don't know. <laughs> really, I'm I'm in the dark here. Okay. Uh, well, that's good because uh, I think that's one of your uh, leaks here wow. um, from our session today. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. I, the way I see the big blind is like we have a, a box with a whole bunch of garbage with it in it. Mm -hmm. And like somebody wants to steal the box from us, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. He wants to steal it. So the way I see it is do we have in our box good stuff or not? Mm -hmm. Or can we just let him go get away with it? Because we cannot fight for it. Anyway, we have garbage. He's going to yeah. go away with garbage. Yeah. You know? Because when he bets here, for me, it's extremely likely that he already has the best hand. Yeah, and what do you say if, if, if we had like a, a, a nine or a 10 or a six in our hand that could block his... Uh, all right. This, what uh, what do you think uh, Queen Six is doing? Uh, now I think I just want to raise more because we block his his value a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. If he call, he will call with every A seven, seven King. Of course, every eight will call. Uh, yeah, you think, really you're, cool. you're thinking too much ahead for something that is very obvious. Yeah, yeah, we maybe just have junk. We have junk when we have queen six. Yeah, pure junk. Yeah. Yeah. We have nothing, man. Nothing at all. We need to fold. Yeah, it's just a pure junky fold. And that's your biggest leak, I think, right now from the big one. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, trying to sure. get too creative. You're trying to see too far ahead of your opponent. You know, do you remember the motions we spoke of? Uh, the first motion was like the early position raise and tries to play a tight range and gets paid. Yeah. The yeah. late position is trying to steal the blind. Mm hmm. And the big blind is just trying to defend against one or the other. Yeah, and I used the wrong combos to defend. Uh, yeah, so against. the big blind, big blind defense is basically extremely boring in reality. Mm -hmm. It's not creative at all. 
It's okay. extremely boring. It's like the most boring spot in the world because we, most of the time we cannot do anything. We just have to check full at like uh, almost all the time. Yeah, we just check full. Of, mm -hmm. Also and because of our positional disadvantage then. Yeah, oh. that's one yeah. of the reasons. But the biggest reason is that we, the reason why the big blind can fall, okay, you can mm -hmm. hold a lot on the flop is because we just pre-flop need to pay one big blind to realize all of our equity. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if on the flop you didn't realize equity or the equity you realized is not optimal, Mm -hmm. Say, for example, here is six. When I see mm -hmm. a six here, I see the bottom end of the straight. Mm -hmm. You never want to play with the bottom end of the. If, how, you're gonna how, end, if you're going to try to be creative here, yeah. it's always going to be with the nine or with the ten and never with the lower part. Yeah. Never, never, never. So a six here, a five here is never going to play. Yeah. Because if we yeah. make the trade, it's going to be the, we're going to have the dumb end of it. Yeah, it costs it cost too much money if... if, if exactly. Yeah, if, yeah. Exactly. So when it comes to queen nine, we just have over cars mm -hmm. and we have danglers to the eight. We could make the upper straight. So like queen, nine of spade, heart, or diamonds here is the nuts, I think. Mm -hmm. But there are many, many combos in our range that yeah. is just garbage. What do you do here with four, five of clubs? Yeah. I think now it's, a, I think now it's, that would be like a, of clubs, <laughs> yeah. I th now it would be like one float and then fold. But... I agree with that. I think we need to call once, try to make a, 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 our gut shot, and then if we don't make it, we don't. But it's really thin, right? You know, with five four club here, our equity is not good, right? Not really good. So yeah. let's fold here. And let's see if we were right with most of our guesses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, in my memories. Yeah, yeah, of course. But when, it, when we got what, four, five on the seven, eight board, when the six comes and we are going to blast it, then it's pretty obvious for the villain to <laughs> put us on a, on a good yeah. range, I guess. So you will see also see the, the three cards. Okay, yeah. So. so like we ask for like king five, king four, even the six, these king I, queen I, this is just like junk. We don't need to put a single chip in the pot. It's just because like you need to understand the big blind, he just makes money by mm -hmm. seeing three cards. And when the three cards m could make him a really good hand, it's gonna mm -hmm. start to play, and if it's not the case, well, you you can just sidestep it. Mm -hmm. So we're just trying to defend our big blind, realize equity, and if we don't, we can easily check for most of the flop. Oh. You know, against a small bet, the big blind is like. Uh, let's see if I have a graph for it. I think I do. Mm -hmm. uh, but the big blind. Is overfolding on the on the flop against MDF across mm -hmm. all textures. So out of position versus sturdy, have it real good. Mm -hmm. So the MDF is here. Okay. okay. Uh, so if we played like uh, if like we basically allow the button to steal us most of the time, that's what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. Folding 46% of the time. That's almost mm -hmm. half of the time. One out of two times, we're just going to check fold. Mm -hmm. Whenever there's an ace uh, on board, we're going to overfold. Mm -hmm. Way overfold MDF. 
Whenever there's a king, we're going to way overfold. So we're basically folding everything unless, unless it's like low cards. Then. On low cards, we're going to fight them, but not even close to MDF. So we're way over folding. Oh. So that's how you probably should need to play it. Yeah, that's probably also the way my losses are coming from. Yeah, is that I fight, I fight them or make the play too, uh, I try to play too creative. Yeah. And then yeah. get myself into situation, then I will guess, okay, now what? And yeah, then I gotta exactly. Play. Then you're com com combining mistakes over mistakes, right? Then you're yeah. on the river, and then <laughs> who knows what yeah. you have to do, right? <laughs> Yeah, then it's will then it really gets complicated <laughs> to yeah, do. For sure. And then uh, yeah, then I make big, even bigger mistakes probably. Yeah. yeah. So you need to make a clear difference of what could be a good draw or a good hand or not. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think about this jack five? I think it's I think it's an easy call but because of the small bet uh and then the same as the last if he uh if no heart comes or a bad card comes to me then i will fold on the turn so call flop fold turn but except if i improve my okay Sometimes. i think it's gonna mix between call and raise let's see i prefer calling yeah it's a call uh -huh. We get this pretty bad turn, or is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. I Should be it very good for the big one, actually. But we defend all our all our hot hot combos. He will have the strongest ones, I think. But we have <laughs> every every hot combo, and the only hot combo that he has is the king. But what what king would would raise? Maybe king ten, king jack. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I, I think it's, I think it's not bad for us the, the ace. I think it's more good than bad because now we can I cannot have the ace. But yeah, we also don't. Yeah, I think it's a good. I think it's a good card for us. Okay, and do we check? Do we bet? <sighs> yeah. I don't if I bet and get re-raised, I don't like it at all. So that's why I want to check here. Yeah. And and now he's gonna bet small again. I think I have to call, but I don't know if it's correct. For sure it is have... correct. Oh, it's even raising some. Oh okay. but it's never full. So this is a good call. Mm -hmm. And then okay, now, now here. Now I'm just just gonna give up check fold. Yeah. I think there's nothing nothing I can do. Actually, he wants to go all in. Seriously? Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course we we can float with with second pair. So now the second yeah, but also there's a half flush draw. Oh, I don't know why he want he just want to go all in there in that spot. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, it's a uh, very weird. I don't think it's gonna be a big thing. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay, we're just trying to block because the queen came and we blocked Jack Ten and we blocked the flush. So we blocked the flush, we blocked Jack Ten, mm -hmm. and we have danglers to the fair card. So that's why I think. I think yeah, it's gonna do it only when it has a heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of those three, uh, how do you say it? Because of the, those three things, uh, blocking the straight, block, blocking the flush, yeah, and yeah. hitting our second pair, that three combined uh, gets us to blast here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, but, you know, going all in here returns three chips. Uh, that's not much. On a pot that is going to be 500, so... Mm, that's not now. That's not. Yeah, we're we're on a like uh, <laughs> a place yeah. where we don't want to be. No. Okay. Yeah. 
uh, a little bit bigger, half, half pot size. Yeah. Yeah, but we Thicker. could get the 10 and we could get the 7. We could yeah, make the 3. I think, I think it's a full. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to get you, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. Uh, I know. And you're going to fall for it. <laughs> yeah, probably for, for once, maybe it's a few times, but that is well. Uh, he's got a bet, same sizing as the last one. Now we got like two overs. And this pretty, this has two cards for our range. And I think now we can race even. I think I want to race. What about uh, Hmm? Sorry. What about folding? Did we realize any equity here with these three two cards? With with these three cards? No. So we're just trying to either like play for queen eye. We're trying to hit. What's our plan when we fall here or raise? Uh, yeah, try to bluff, but yeah, it's not. Again, not the right combo, probably. I, I yeah. usually like we are not gonna really fold over cards to a small bit. Usually, but here we can call with hearts, we can call with spades, or we can raise with spades. And, yeah, so we and like I have the impression that we can like not don't have enough going on here. We need to possibly fold here. Yeah, because we have like a lot of combos that can raise or call. So we don't need to use this combo to. That, that, that's what I think. So let's yeah. see. Yeah. Yes, sir. 100%. Careful. And the other thing I thought when you said raise or when we were looking at, like, say we hit a queen on the turn, but it's the queen of spade. Are we happy? Say the jack of spade gun. Are mm -hmm. we happy? You know, it's going to be tough. It's not a clean investment point. It's clearly not a spot where we, we're going to realize equity. Whereas now, now, to now, it, to... now it seems like a, a spot where the big man's going to make some money here. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. I think okay. so too. But, but now I'm thinking about or calling or raising. Yeah. So, so... you want to raise big or raise small? I think it's, I think I want to raise with 10, seven, but I want to call with 10, six. I agree with you. I was uh, hoping you'd give me that for an answer. <laughs> uh, uh, um, here, even like at this SPR, okay, when we have a strong hand, like two pair, we're basically never raising it because if we just call, it's going to be almost, it's automatically we're going to be all in, no matter what. Yeah. So that yeah. we don't really need to raise our strong hands. Yeah. So here we would want to raise like our strongest stance possibly, our pocket jacks. We don't really have pocket jacks actually, but our strongest stands I think would raise. But mm -hmm. that's about it. Most of our range and the most of our very strong hands just want to call. And then like 10, eight or 10, 10, nine. Yeah. Uh, also 10, eight. Like uh, I think they would be raising as well. Definitely 10, 8 and 10, 9 are raising here. Oh. Yeah. So I think it's just a call. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at this. 100%. Yeah. Spot well on. And now we got like a double. I think it's just a check. A check I again. Agree. I agree. We're in the big blind defense motion. Oh, that's S7 bad. on the river. That's bad news. Now we just have 10. I, th I think we got super cooler here. Yeah, I think so too. So we just check, right? Check. I would check, yeah. No, it's not a check. It wants to bet two thirds. For value, hmm. I thought okay. this would counterfeit us, but no, 
it doesn't matter. Oh. We still have the best end. So, okay. Do you want to go on in here or call? Uh, yeah, I just want to call. I agree. Queen Aids. Uh, no, it's going on in. Look at this. <laughs> okay, but so we, we, don't get... we butchered the last three, then, yes. <laughs> yeah, sure, but I, 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 I don't understand. But what, what will call us if we go all in here? Well, I don't think a better hand or a worse hand will call. No, it's... but I think it's just because. We butchered the first river decision. We're on a oh, zero okay. percent tree. So what happens after? You know. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And this one, full. No, no, also versus small sizing. Well, okay, so I have a question about the last board. What do you do on this last board? Uh, no, hang on, not this one. This one. What do you do on this board with um, King Queen of Diamonds? Against a small bet. Uh, against a small bet, I think I have to float once and then give up on the on the turn. But the, not the so also... sure. Maybe, but I think we have like many, many hands that have just a single spade in our offsuit area. Mm -hmm. We also have many pairs. Yes. Yeah. We have stuff that can make the straight, like mm -hmm. seven five of diamonds, for example. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but let's see. Let's. I'm curious. King queen of diamond pure folds. Yeah. That's what I thought. We call with single spades. Spades mm -hmm. here. Yeah, so we have plenty of spades to call with. We have sixes. We have nines. Plenty of yeah. Nines. So it's the same as with the, with the last uh, example. We have like a lot of combos that we can call or race with. So we don't need to use yeah. this combo to to make a play or whatever. Yeah, well, yeah to defend. Exactly. Uh, uh, uh. Um, so this was a uh, check. Check on the. Oh, it's just, uh, okay. Check. Check. Uh, I think it's, I think it's a or a check or a bet small, but I, I think I will split it. So I think like seventy percent I will check, and thirty percent probably I would bet small. I like that. Let's see if it's right. Nope, it's never betting small. It's checking again. One hundred percent. I think it's because of the flush. If it was not a flush card, like another ten, mm -hmm. uh, I I think we would bet a lot more with the hand like Jack 10. No, mm -hmm. no, it doesn't That's, want to. It's also a 100% check. Uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, clear. Uh, okay, now I just want to check. I hope he checks behind. Hey, did any of you <laughs> Yeah, we, he would have fold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe he won't. Maybe he won't because he got like back uh, back door to a very small flush. But okay. Yeah. All right. Now let's look at a, a deep stack a little bit. Yeah. But I I think we need to work on your big blind defense some some more because it seems to be your only league right now. Mm hmm. You're calling the river too much from the big blind. You're mm -hmm. up to no good from the big blind, and all your other seats look good. Yeah. Oh. Uh, two. Okay. 
Well, also, if you have any questions for me, man, feel free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will, uh, will ask. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I got like, um, um, I play like on the Dutch casino side, and it's like uh, registered as IPO, uh, iPoker. Yeah. Um, and I want to like, um, I can select it on my holder manager. Yeah. And then I yeah. open like a tournament. And I think, okay, now the stats are, uh, will show up, but nothing will show up. So I think, okay, uh, I, I didn't understand. So that has nothing to do with this, but. <laughs> you want to show me? Yeah. Um, I have to share the screen again, I think. Yeah, share the screen. Uh, well, let's look. Where is my home manager? Oh, wait. I, I first of all um, log into the site. Um, So you're not talking about the HUD here. You're talking about your HM3 not loading, not giving you stats for the, the site. Is that right? Correct. Yeah, correct. And, and it's are, like... your, are your hands saved on your Dutch site? Is your Dutch site configured to store hands on your computer? Uh, I didn't have... Um, I can't find where I can save those hands, but I think they saved them. But I don't know where. Okay. Okay, well, start by showing me the HM3. Okay. Mm. And now, no, uh, Site settings, I think. Yeah, the, oh yeah, it's. No, auto import folders are selected. Okay, so click on auto detect. Oh, this one? Yeah. It's not reacting. Okay, so click on add. And then the three, yeah. And then go on your PC, the C drive. Yeah. And now where is iPoker? One of the program files, I guess. Okay, the other one. Mm. Program files x86, uh, yeah, yeah. GG Poker, HM3, scroll down a bit. You can see Poker Stars. Okay, let's just search for a top right. Go back to your C actually. Oh, yeah. So yeah, and then search for it. Just right, top right. Uh, I poker. Yeah. And yeah, let's search. Good. Mm. No, it doesn't. Okay, it says almost finished here. What is the other one? Ng ng past. Uh, yeah, like uh, <clears throat> it's like uh, network uh, drive. Yeah, ng past. Uh, what's that in English? Network. Like customized, like customized. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, this PC maybe. All right, can you open your Dutch, your iPoker? Because there should be an option on it to save hands to your, and it's gonna also tell us where the files are stored. Does it have another name than iPoker? Maybe it does, but that's why I, I will share the screen. Um, um, uh, okay, now a new share. Uh, like Uh, classic modes, um, avatar, okay, theme. Yeah. You can see it now? Uh, yeah. yeah, I can see uh, Matsukai. Yeah. It's my new, my new screen name. Um, history. Oh, there we go. Tournament. Tournaments. Ooh, so you need to manually download them. What does it say in my profile on the right? Uh, just my... Uh... That, 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 okay, so that's not yeah. useful. Um, what date can you select? No, oh, and now I just like oh, it's, um, well, it's from... not giving. No, it doesn't matter. It, it's not giving you a hand history, I think. No. Just gives the tournament and profit or not profit. Yeah. Um, maybe it's not. But because of its, uh, I thought it was not possible. But then I saw it's it's like registered under iPoker, and iPoker was part of Holder Manager. Then I thought, okay, maybe it is possible, but for well, sure it is. Now maybe I yeah maybe I should find it. I will look look for it later. Yeah, maybe on Google. Maybe be better, yeah. Because usually the software allows you to save the hands on your computer, and then you tell the HM3 to pick. Right from there, but we didn't yeah. even find the folder for. Uh, maybe try to make a research for Holland Casino. Oh, so maybe yeah. it has it has a folder named that, and it's storing hands in there. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, um, how can I? Right, yeah. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, otherwise I will do it later. Then I will if I got more uh, uh, um oh, yeah. Holland Casino, yeah, Dutch Casino, yeah. Yeah, I'll, or we'll ask it. Uh, yeah, I will ask later. And uh, but the, that because like um, for looking at uh, if I like implementing the new the the new things I learn, uh, I need to have the hands, of course. Uh, uh, ideally, if you want. Yeah, it's not necessary. And I think like I play like 90%, I play like on that side now because uh, uh, yeah, the level is uh, less than uh, on the other side. So. Hmm. 
And this is 20 big lines? This is 80 big lines. 80 big, oh, okay. Mm. Queen three, check, no oh, check. I think so. Okay, the last is, um, I, th I think I can value bet here. Yeah, what size would, would you like to use? I think like 30. Okay. I, I want to get greedy here and I would size up, but he could just have an ace and have the straight, so it's tough. So I like 80, I like 30 for this reason. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, we would probably just go bigger. And see, yeah. he, does, he does not even raise with the straight here because we're so yeah. deep that he just wants to show off. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot, a little bit uh, scared of the uh, of the six probably because we have sixes on our range also. Yeah, we are often yeah. extremely cautious at this stack. Yeah. Yeah, that was also not um, a leak of mine uh, from eight uh, eighty big blinds. Um, this one. I would just call, yeah. But we have like two straight possibilities. So I think maybe a race is also not bad. An eight and four is good for us. Jack can be good. Um, I think. Yeah, we are deep stacked. Huh? Um, I think a race to 86. Is, is good here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what do you need in order to improve to a strong hand? Mm, yeah, on the turn, I mean, we can have a lot of <coughs> um, a lot of cards that are good for our specific hand. In order to make any hand at all, you will need a combination of two cards. If you're to make the flush here, you need two cards. If you're to uh -huh. make the straight here, you need two cards. True, yeah, true. So you're yeah, like so we... you're like drawing to a, a jack here with a seven kicker. Yeah, we have like two back doors, two flushes, and the over cards. And that maybe that's too maybe. Then I have to be more cautious uh, because of the big uh, big stacks we have. So, yeah, so, considering so that you said that a couple of times, okay, that they need to be cautious. This board is good for me. So, mm -hmm. this leveling war only happens in your mind. Uh huh. Okay, and it's costing you money because that's not how you should look at it at all. Mm hmm. You should simply fold here. Okay. I'm not sure if it's a good fold. Let's see. Yes. Uh, it's good. a good fold. Uh, yeah, uh, because we want to realize equity and a combination of two cards is too much. We're gonna call the flop and then, you know, even if we hit the good card on the turn, say we get an eight, we still need a nine. Say we get the whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So this is way too thin. Yeah, uh, uh. yeah. We got probably a more uh, reversed, uh, reversed implied odds. So that hand, we think we are good. Then, if we spike a jack, then he's gonna have jack queen, yeah. jack king. Yeah. yeah. Also, of course, um, ten jack for two pair. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a small bet. I think I would float once. For sure. Check. I thought about raising. Felt a little thin, but okay. Check. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it, I think it's a fault, but I don't. I really don't like it, but I think it's a fault. I think it's a call. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't think the seven connects well with him. Uh, I think we still have outs to make the straight. I'll uh -huh. make the, the a five sometimes, even though it's not going to be great. But if uh -huh. he's just betting and with his range, as he should be on an ace high board, and mm -hmm. I win against all of his bluffs, sir. No. So he's still we'll, asking. We can check. No. We can call here. And sometimes going to go check, check on the river. I'm going to have a very, very easy time just showing that. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm not sure, but I think this is a call. Well, it wants to Great. raise. That's a bit crazy. As long as we don't fold, that's okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, raising here, I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, uh, so we call and now we check the river. And check the check river. It. See? Yeah. Very often, the river is going to go check, check. Yeah. Now we just happen to lose, but you know. Yeah, you could, you could also have. King Queen, King Jack, probably with um, with betting in this uh, in this spot. Yeah. yeah. So today I'm gonna mark you for two hours, and if you want, we can continue. Up to you if you're tired or tired. If you wanna continue? It's on me. You're gonna mark for two hours, and then what do you say? Uh, if we if you want, we can continue a little bit. Um. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we can continue for, for an hour or. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to, I don't want to do a, an extra hour, just a couple of more minutes. <laughs> oh, that's also, okay, that's also, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. No, two hours is a training like this, more than enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me too, yeah, I still have to implement the first uh, session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this second pair. Yeah, I'll we'll call. We'll call you. Just call. Yeah. Check. Check. Now it's a fold, I think. Well, I don't think so. No. Maybe it is, but I think it's the, 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 the I don't think size we can fold. We don't block a heart. Uh, we have one of our best second pair. Uh huh. Sure. Uh, it's just. You know, it's button versus big blind. So where it's more sticky than if it was against under the gun. Hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was, if it was a call. Let's see. Okay, let's yeah. see. Oh, it's mixing. So in, in reality, you can probably just fall against the pop. But against a yeah, solver, because... we need to fall. Ah. Now check. Yeah. Terrible river. Ha, <laughs> he goes yeah. for it. So funny. You know what he has? I can tell you exactly what he has. He has straight. He has precisely Queen Jack. He had yeah. it all along. He was just toying yeah. with us. There's no way yeah. he does that with a single Jack. No. Uh -uh. So he, he has course. to have Queen Jack. Here. Has to. Uh -uh. <laughs> Twice right. today, I, I called his exact hand. <laughs> you you didn't watch it before uh, before our session? No. no. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Now, these are like, uh, they, they pick from a folder that has like all these, and I have no control what happens. Yeah. Go ahead, maybe, I, may, maybe I'm just lucky with the hands, but I see through his game a little bit. Ah. Uh, we have nothing here in fold. Yes. Mm. Uh, check, check, okay. Yeah. And now? Yeah, really thinking about it. Yeah, check check will lead small, but I think check is better. Always a check. Yeah. And then give up. 
Ja, God. Ja. Um. Check, check. I think I would like to lead here. With the open with the open ender and the and the over pair to the jack. Okay, I think it's uh, still our same problem here. Why do you want to get so creative with this one? You know, while you have you're trying to bet with King Three, he might just have Ace Three, right? And I yeah. already has it locked up. He may, might have Three Six, and I has a better hand. Oh. Might have King Jack, and even the king is drawing dead. Oh. There's nothing for us here. Yeah, so check, and then if we spike, check all. That's done the better strategy. Yeah. Now he bets 80 and 200. Yeah. He has a three. Yeah, probably you have to fold here. You don't have the odds. Oh my God. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, uh, you're on the roll there. Wow, pretty sick. I'm glad this is recorded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, otherwise people won't believe you. So, okay, if you don't believe me, watch the video. <laughs> on, on two hours and five minutes and one hour and 55 minutes. Yeah. That was exactly spot on. This is a good one. Yeah. Uh, it was check check okay i think now we have we want to have value you want to have money so I'll probably we'll bet like 80 here i like that a lot oh thanks. what do you do with the queen here mm, queen i think that i think i would do the same with the with the I think with every queen, because it went check, check. I so think I, our worst queen would want to bet small, and our, our nines would want to bet small, and our mm -hmm. best queens want to bet big. Yeah, so queen queen eight, queen six, queen five want to bet small, queen jack, queen, queen, queen eight might I think queen eight might be good enough to bet big. Hmm. Let's try to bet bigger. Yeah. It's even betting bigger. Oh, so over bet. Yeah, over bet. And let's see where we stand with uh, our queens and our knights. Uh-huh. Our own. Oh, well, you said all of the queens. Good yeah. enough. Oh. All of them want to play. Uh, the lower ones check a little bit more. And the uh -huh. bigger ones go big. So we have the right motion here. So that's really nice. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And then our nines, are, are the nines betting small? Not so much. Ah, oh, okay, so nines are not betting so much. All right. So that is more defense, defense play, so that's more checking that. Yeah. Oh yeah, and one last thing I wanted to see is the, what do you think we do with spades here? Um, what kind of spades? Just like check, like um, check four spades, something like that? Yeah. Um, I think just uh, just check and hope to realize our equity. So check, and then yeah, I call accordingly. I disagree. You want to bet? Oh. We have a big bet range here for value. Okay, uh -huh. and we want to balance it with our worst bluffs. Uh -huh. Okay. So when we bet big here with our best ends, we're going to have bluffs. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be spades. Let's see. Boom, spades. Uh -huh. So like the three have a pair, so we can really look at them. But the four are the worst one without a pair. They're all betting. So we want to bet with our backdoor flushes and... It's the big size, right? Is it? Mm, no. 
Okay, so it's betting just 80%, but it's mixing in some of them in the big bets as well. So good enough. Mm -hmm. And now we do, okay. But now then, then we do bet big because we also have uh, pocket fees in our range. Yeah, for value, exactly. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this is a big bet on this board with my hands. Forget about this bet. What if you bet small? I don't think we, we can call any, any anything. So we have that's, to fold. That's right. We just pure yeah. fold. All right, I think we're good for today, man. Yeah, yeah, that's it's good. Been a good session. I'm tired.